Here we are making a Stuffs Burger with Dave Hansen, the inventor of Stuffs. Just going to go ahead and show you how easy it is to make a Stuffs Burger. First you open it, then you take a third cup mounded over of any ground meat and you just easily drop that inside. Close and latch it and then you just press down one time and that will flatten the meat out to make a patty and when you pull it up it will lock. You just turn it slightly and it will depress the stuff's cavity maker. You press it up and down a couple times. You'll feel a little suction and that's just the, the meat forming the cavity. Then you pull it back up and put it back in the holder and locked position. And then you open it back up and you can see you have your stuff's deep well cavity. And now you're ready to stuff. So today we're gonna make a bacon cheeseburger for our son, that's his favorite. So you go ahead and you dump, we have some fresh ground bacon in, and you can fill it up. And you can really load these up with anything. Um, our kids like the Mac Daddy Burger, which is macaroni and cheese, you can do tomato mozzarella, really whatever you want. Um, inside out spaghetti and meatballs, and you fill the meatball with spaghetti. So this is a bacon cheeseburger and you go ahead and you fill it to the top um, and it really holds quite a bit of filling you just want to fill it all the way up to the rim but not overflowing on the edges um, and then what you do here for your top cavity or your top cover you're going to go ahead and fill the lid with another patty and you just really kind of loosely spread that out really just press it evenly it's pretty quick um, and then we're going to go ahead and close it so I'll fill them and he's going to go ahead and close it now and then once it's closed you just press down and you kind of rock it back and forth and it will seal the whole entire burger for you pull it back up into the lock position then he's going to release the lock and here you'll see it's completely stuffed and now the coolest thing it just pops right up from the bottom and that completely seals and it's ready to go on the grill and it took two minutes and 20 seconds for a fully stuffed burger and now we're going to go ahead and pop them on the grill for you and we'll show you what they look like um, after we're done cooking